Depp, and you're watching Vendetta Pro. That is true. Uh, Which that, shouldn't be surprising, really. But. That is true. The Irishman was definitely stumbling. Down. Oh, and Menace gives him a slap across the chest. I beat my wife! Oh, and, and, and he... And Irishman just taking a bit of a beat down right there in the corner. A reversal by the Irishman. Menace is in the corner. There's one thing about, one thing about the drunken Irishman. Uh, drunk or sober, he can't can't fight. But then, then again, so can Mike Menace coming up with a. Uh, oh no! Oh 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 oh! Locked in there. The Irishman locked into the ropes. Oh, a little bit of seesaw action right there for you. Oh, down! Irishman tumbles out of the ring, and here comes Menace, ready to show him. Uh, oh, the referee Alex Goggles Goldstein. He's gonna have uh, a bit of a hard time. Well, pretty much anybody has a hard time with uh, Mike Menace. Definitely. Menace is definitely one of the bad boys of Vendetta Pro Wrestling. Uh, famous for not following the rules and for using uh, unconventional tactics in and outside of the ring. And I'm pretty sure getting his head slammed into that ring post, I mean, that's that's extremely painful and not very good for your game plan when, when you are straight. So, yes. oh, oh, and into and, the ring steps oh, there. Oh. Irishman is just getting worked on very badly here outside of the ring tonight. Uh, between, you know, hopefully maybe his, his uh, consumption of alcohol before the show takes the sting out of the beating he's getting right now, but one can never know. Yes, but at least normally when you're drunk, you don't usually have a hangover while you're drunk. And uh, in, in his case, he probably does now, so... <laughs> that is true, that is true. And, you know, Mike Menace typically not in a very good mood anyway, but he's in an especially bad mood. The one thing he does look forward to is knocking opponents loopy, and, and well, as you can see, he's already loopy. Definitely, definitely. Airplane spin. But right now, Menace is actually in a not a good situation, Joseph, and it looks like the Irishman is actually going to show Menace how how he does it with the power of alcohol in his system. Well, which one's more dizzy is the question. And well, oh, 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 we got a roll up, oh, but uh, 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 one, two, three. Obviously, whoa. that's not going to count. But uh, wow, that's an amazing reversal of roles right there, with the ref actually being pinned by the Irishman. <laughs> Irishman thinks he's won this thing, and uh, and, uh, and and Menace is actually. Uh, playing along with that illusion. And is that? Like, oh, yes, it is. Close line. Lulled Irishman into a false sense of safety there. One, two, no. Oh, okay, no. that was a close one. Menace is not happy with that count. Actually very surprised of, of the kick out right there. I guess I shouldn't be. Uh, drunken Irishman usually does compete in this condition, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, nice I shot to the gut there. Oh, 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 misses the leg drop. Ouch, ouch, and Irishman is in some pain. You see him grabbing his lower back. Uh, definitely not a good situation. And he's getting set up here right now. Big spine hard, buster. Hard slam. That might be it right there. It would cover one, two, three. No! Oh, Irishman coming back there. Very surprising. You can see the look on Menace's face. Just, just the... Uh, the disgust, wanting to get this match over with. He's uh, he's eager to, to 
put the Irishman down for good. Oh. Many, some close fist punches right there. They are technically oh, illegal. Uh, forearm boy, right there to knock boy. him down. Forearm is legal. Irishman fell hard right there, Joseph. I don't know if uh, if he can turn this match around. And this he's got him set up double underhook. Forget about it. Oh, his head getting slammed there right into Menace that. to society. One, two, three. Oh, all right. tonight, Joseph. Uh, just uh, not a lot of menace fans in the crowd. Some of the people... Oh! Oh! Yeah, I, I wonder why. The fans right there. And, and even, menace disses his own fans. That's not a good strategy for a wrestler, I imagine. Oh. Mm. Right. I wonder why he doesn't have many fans. If you think you got what it takes, I'm Braun Bo Cooper, and you'll watch the Vendetta Pro Wrestling. Check out Vendetta Pro Wrestling social media networks at VendettaProWrestling.com if you've ever watched pro wrestling on TV and you thought, I can do that, well, this is your place. Vendetta Pro Wrestling Training Academy. Trained by this man right here, Billy Blade. He's got you. Viva la raza! <laughs> Vendetta Pro Wrestling. All you fans said it wasn't possible for wrestling personified Rick Luxury to walk into the ring of former Vendetta Heavyweight Champion and walk out the Triforce Champion. Well, guess what? I. I put all disbelievers on the shelf because I, Rick Luxury, am the Vendetta Triforce Champion. And in Santa Maria on March 17th, Famous B, you're stepping in the ring with an A-lister. And B-boy, you're going to find out who the man is because I am wrestling personified. I'm the champion of champions and the championship isn't going anywhere. Rick Luxury, you currently hold that title. Well, what I want you to do, I want you to go ahead and shine it up as nice and bright and pretty as you can. Because you know what? March 17th is going to have a new owner, Vendetta Pro Wrestling. Famous B is coming, and Famous B is going to show up, and I'm going to show out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vendetta Pro Wrestling Triforce Champion and former 
Vendetta Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Wrestling personified Rick Luxury. He's being accompanied, of course, by his manager of a no alternate pink meat, Marcus Mack. Besides holding the Triforce title, this man, he holds titles all over the state of California. I'm pretty sure that probably actually got over the microphone. All right, uh, look at this. Everybody's, everybody's just really messing with our ring announcer, Donovan Troy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. B-Boy just tossing, it, tossing his stuff away. Uh, let's, let's go to our ring announcer, Donovan Troy. Vendetta Pro Wrestling Triforce Champion. He'll be defending his title here in this Triforce match. It'll be one fall with a one hour time limit. Go ahead, seal him up, seal him up. You know you've been waiting for this all night. Go ahead, go ahead, make sure you get the crowd Got some action going on at ringside over here. Triforce titles on the line. Marcus Mack, along with Rick Luxury, getting into uh, getting into it with uh, a member of our crowd. He, he's a guy we see at many of our events. One of our best fans, actually. And uh, you suck, yeah. You suck, son. Bell is wrong. This one is underway. Rick Luxury immediately sliding to the outside. Now again, this is a one-fall Triforce match, which means the first person to score a pinfall or gain a submission will be the winner. Tie up right now, B Boy and Famous B. And they should be exciting right here. B Boy, an extremely great high flyer. Uh, B Boy, a little bit more of a brawler, but 
he's, he's pretty quick on his feet as well. Nice kip up right there by B-Boy, arm ringer, reversal. B-Boy throwing a punch and famous B returning. Apparently they can give as good as they get. It looks like <laughs> Rick Lutcher is trying to get into the ring. And neither one of these guys really like Lutcher and, and who can blame them? They're gonna go after one another. Rick Lutcher again, throw to the outside. B-Boy taking advantage of the situation there. Nice, spinning head scissor takedown by Famous B. And Huda can run out, nice. Arm drag takedown, Famous B, this is what he's known for. He's very fast paced. What a shot right there by B-Boy. It takes a lot to keep him down. And from behind, Rick Luxury nailing Famous B. Luxury, seeing that they ought to form a team, a little alliance. You can have, have short-lived alliances in these Triforce matches. However, again, the first person to score a pinfall or gain a submission will win it. So sooner or later, it's just destined to break up. Right now, Famous B, nice escape, dropping the movement. Luxury going back to the outside. We got a cover. One, two, and no. Two count right there. We could have had a new Triforce champion, Rick Luxury, not even being involved in the decision. That's a position. Really, that's a position you're in in a Triforce match. You can lose a. You can lose the match. You can lose the title, and not even be the one pinned or forced to submit. So, a champion for for all. For all the advantages, all the advantages that Triforce may normally have, he doesn't really have it in his match. Nice move by Famous B. Puts the leg. One, two, and no. Luxury right here, right, actually right here by me on the outside. Oh, bringing a chair into it. And well, looks like he's looks like he's gonna just uh, take a little break and watch the action. As he says. This is very true, however, nice drop kick by Famous B. <coughs> Famous B now, springboard, moonsault, go for the cover, one, no, broken up immediately by Rick Luxury. You knew he had to get back in there. Again, he can lose this match without being pinned. Famous B, or B-Boy for that matter, scores a pinfall on one another, Rick Luxury loses the title, so. Luxury has him set up. Springboard's over and sunset flip combination with a vertical suplex cover. One, two, no. Oh, and a big close line right there by the defending champion. Crowd not liking any of what's going on, but again, Rick Luxury, he's the champion for a reason. He makes a cover of one. Barely gets a two count out of that. Again, you're showboating just a little bit too much. If Rick Luxury has a weakness, his overconfidence may just be it. Luxury now, nice neck breaker. Looks a leg, one, two, no. And B-Boy just knocked off the ring apron by Luxury. A shot to the stomach right there, and another one by Famous B, but trying to fight his way back up. Rick Luxury not allowing for that. And driving right into the boot. On the outside, Marcus Neck just taunting the crowd. Springboard, nice move right there, delivered by Rick Luxury. Covers one, two, no. That was a very, very weak cover. Nice baseball, baseball slide drop kick. I just suck it, badass! Luxury now, getting ready to set up on the second turnbuckle. Coming up. Nicely applied, driving elbow, one, two, broken up by B-Boy, and 
Triforce match, you always have another guy on the outside that can break it up. B-Boy now being reversed. Oh, nice kick applied by the New Age Punisher. B-Boy now, oh, just driving him first and, oh, a neck breaker DDT combination. Now, B-Boy is the man standing, well, sitting in this case, but he is the man with the advantage. B-Boy sitting luxury into the corner. And, oh, a nice chop right there, Knight, reverse knife edge. Shades of Ric Flair. Luxury ask, begging off, asking, please not, please do not strike me. B-Boy doing it anyway. And, oh, just a thumb to the eye right there. B-Boy starting to get a little bit of a, uh, Starting to get a little bit of uh, applause here from this crowd. Small package, one, two, no. Was not able to get him on the inside cradle. Net pair take over. Oh, and a soccer kick right to the back. That is just got to steam. B-Boy trying to get into the, trying to get into the ring. Famous B, rather. Oh, driven right into that top turnbuckle. And Famous B, he, he may he may very well be done. Rick Luxury going to the brawling, which B-Boy, that, that's what he loves to do. That's exactly what he's come to do, so. Looks like we might have, yes, a camel clutch. B-Boy looking to make him, uh, make him humble. Oh, going right for the choke. B-Boy trying to choke about right there. About eight minutes in. And submission maneuver is gonna be applied right here. Eight minutes into the match. This right here could do it. He could force a submission. Luxury saying no. Gets his foot on that bottom rope. Has a break. Breaks on four. You can be disqualified on five. B-Boy pointing it out. He has still five. He is absolutely correct. Another reverse knife edge chop right there. That's just got a sting. Irish whip. Ducks a clothesline, comes back. Each man go with a clothesline. And everybody is out of action right now. Famous B getting back on the ring apron. He can't be counted out in this match, but uh, oh, Famous B looking like he might go up to the top. Famous B, he's calling for it. B-Boy struggling to get to his feet right now. B-Boy does so, oh, he trips him up. B-Boy saving himself right there. Looks like we might have a superplex. Rick Luxury with a powerbomb, powerbomb suplex combination. Those are the type of, types of things that can happen in these Triforce matches. And Rick Luxury once again with the advantage Rick Luxury making the cover. One, two, no. Going for the cover on B-Boy. One, two, no. Luxury into the corner, catching an elbow. Applied right there by B-Boy. Look at leg. One, two. Ten minutes. 
Ring announcer Donovan Troy letting us know 10 minutes have passed out of this 60 minute. Nice move delivered by Famous B. And looks like he's going to drop him up, up onto the second. Double lock. Double. Oh, looked like he was going to go for a neck breaker. Put his, put his knee up there. Went for kind of a back breaker maneuver right now. Famous B. Oh, just driving him into the mat right there. We got a cover right now. One, two, and no. B Boy breaking it up. B Boy tossing luxury out of the ring right now as Famous B coming up from behind. Going for the O'Connor roll, misses it. Nice kick right there by B-Boy. Famous B, setting him up, and... Oh, it's a Tiger Bomb, one, two, no! Ladies and gentlemen, I hope my voice holds up. We've got so much action already just in these first two matches. Uh, set up nice rollover right there. Got to cover one, two, no. Famous B breaking up the pin. Luxury trying trying to make the pin, retain his title. Famous B now. Overhead shot and return shot by Luxury. Just trading shots, lefts and rights back at each other. Well. Pretty much all rights, but and a return right there by Luxury. Oh, nice kick applied right there by B Boy, and a super kick. Oh, another one. Oh, cutter by B Boy right there. I do apologize. I said it was a kick by B Boy. It's a kick by Famous B. All three men are down. Referee Sparky Baller putting in the count, but the count reaches ten. With all three men down, match will be declared a draw. Rick Luxury will retain the title that way. Count is up to six. All three men starting to get up. They get up to their knees. And there we go. They are up. Irish went by Luxury, dunking a clothesline. Famous B, Famous B being set up. Oh, he's in a bad spot. B-Boy. Famous B, nice German suplex, one, two, oh! Off the top with a double stomp by B-Boy. And the 13 minute mark of this match. 13 minutes of a total 60 minute. Luxury now outside the ring, Famous B and B-Boy. Into turnbuckles up and over by Famous B. Handspring and hits that super kick. Trademark offense right now. Beautiful dive. Famous B taking out Rick Luxury. And he's going up to the top rope. He's going up to the top. Coming on. Why is I want to be? He's going to cover one, two, new Triforce champion. Ball, 13 minutes, 49 seconds. Famous B is your new Triforce champion. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that's the thing about these Triforce matches, Rick Luxury on the outside was not even involved in the decision.